What's up friends, it's Volt Firecore. Now, I actually just recorded this entire video, but I forgot to turn the audio on, so I just sat down for 22 minutes talking to myself, and it didn't record a single second of it. Or it recorded, but none of my voice. So, I'm um, kind of sad now, but we're going to do two battles because I really think this is an interesting idea. So what I was trying to do is a PU team, which is the lowest tier, versus OU, which is a very annoying tier to go against with all the Magirnas and Greninjas and Landruses. So I'm not going to go over the team like I did last video, even though it wasn't really a video. It was just a broken recording, but I'm going to go over the team. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to scroll through it. I'll talk about it when I'm in battle. Okay, so that's the team. Um, I'm going to go back inside of OU, Gen 7 OU, with, um, where's the team? I want PU versus OU. Okay, Gen 7 OU, let's um, take it on with this team. We're going to do two battles. Okay, so this looks like a pretty powerful team, and most likely they're going to start off with their Revile, I think. So I'm going to go for... Agron. So they went for this boy, this this powerful boy, which I'm a little worried about. So what this Agron is supposed to do is um, go for Head Smash, just because uh, he has Rock Head, which makes uh, moves that have recoil damage do no recoil. So, you know, I have a feeling this dude's going to go for Earthquake, so I am going to go into my Levitator. And he predicted that, you know, the smart boy he is. So, um, I'm just going to go for Sub-Zero, and hopefully this takes him out. Okay, so this Rotom, as you saw, uh, is just a Z-Move user. He just tries to get his Z-Move off, and uh, then just try to stay alive. Um, the the Lurantis has Contrary, so any moves that uh, have negative effects... Uh, they become positive effects. And, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, the Gastrodon is a tanky boy. And I'm actually going to put him in because I'm expecting an Electric-type move. He faked me out. Alright, that's cool. So Gastrodon is just going to try to uh, poison people and stuff. So I'm just going to poison this. Okay, okay. Okay, fair enough. So this boy's immune, unfortunately. And, um, we could switch into Spiritomb, which, um, he's just, um, going to fall asleep on the opponent and trying to do some damage while falling asleep. So we just got Toxic, and we're going to just continuously Scald this, um, this Crobat, and hopefully we do some damage to him. And there is a chance that Scald burns, so, yeah, there we go. So we got the Scald burn. Which is quite helpful, and I have a feeling he's going to use Venom Shock again, so I'm going to switch into Eggron. So he just switched into Raichu, and we're going to switch into Eggron. So, this is good. We're in a good position right now. I have a feeling that he's going to um, uh, be worried about ground-type moves. So I'm just going to go for a Stealth Rock. What's he going to do? Electrocute me. <coughs> Sorry about that. So most likely we're going to get um, murdered next turn, but I'm just going to go for a head smash. Oh, we survived. And now we can smash our skull into this poor little rat. Okay, here is Weavile. Um, now when this is going on, I'll tell you about the other team. Electros, very tanky. It's pretty much all he does. And is there anyone else? Um, Laurentis uses Contrary, he uses Head Smash, he's a Tangy, he's a Tangy, and he uses Emus. Okay, so that's the team. Um, can't really do anything here, so I'm just going to Taunt. Why in the world would you do that? Okay, I could have Head Smashed him. Well, actually, never mind. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to Head Smash, and okay. 
So, for some reason, he faked me out. I don't know why, but whatever he wants to do. So, this Electros has a fire type move, and I'm actually going to use this on this uh, poor Weavile, which is going to Night Slash me, but then get uh, burnt to a crisp. So, his Crobat is um, pretty much dead because there are Stealth Rocks, and if he puts it out, it's going to take um, a lot of damage and probably die. It actually might survive because I actually don't know how much it does. Okay, so there is like a 0.0% .0 chance that we survive this, which is unfortunate. So most likely he's going to go for like a fighting type move or something. So I don't know who to go into. I'm just going to flamethrower and hopefully he does something stupid. Okay, so he just went for close combat. So he's pretty weak now inside the defense department. So I can kind of just skirt in there and uh, go for an earthquake, I guess. Should I or shouldn't I? I'm actually going to go into Lorantis and use um, Superpower. And he's going to poison jab me. And I'm going to Superpower him to death. So now our Lorantis is plus one in defense and plus one in attack. The Crobat is going to... Never mind, he had a berry. So he's inside of a good position now. Um, I really don't want to deal with him. Like, I really don't. Just because he's going to hit me with a poison move. So I'm just going to switch into my Gastrodon and um, recover over and over again. So he went, he went for Venom Shock, and we're poisoned. But we can deal some damage to him with Scald. And he's just going to keep Venom Shocking, so we're just going to Scald him, and he'll die the next turn, probably. So our Gastrodon, we had to sack him off. It was a necessary sacrifice. Okay, so he's going to die from the poison. And we have three Pokemon versus one Gardevoir. And I know exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to switch into Spiritomb. Actually, hopefully this um, Shadow. Oh boy, that's a, that's a pretty nice name. Hopefully they don't go for uh, anything annoying. But we're just going to Dark Pulse and hopefully do some damage to it. And nope, because we're going to get Moonblasted. So there's still a chance that we lose this, but still, we came pretty close with this um this pretty strong team. We're gonna take some serious damage from these rocks, but uh, I guess it's necessary. I don't think we're gonna be able to beat this Gardevoir because um, it has Pixelate, which is dangerous. But I'm just gonna go for a Blizzard and hopefully get okay. He went for hyper hi, hyper beam. Okay. Okay, I see you. That, that's pretty cool. Hopefully we get um a Leaf Storm something. Come on, give me like a... We did get a crit, actually. We did actually get a crit, so... That's actually pretty cool. But we're going to die from a Moonblast, so... That's GG from uh, Mr. Shadow. And we came very close to uh, beating this Mr. Boy. And I think we did pretty good. Um... The other battles that I did were not very epic. They were actually very sad to look at since I did not know how to use this team. But we're going to do one more battle instead of OU. And hopefully, maybe win? This team is scary. There are Pokemon that are like really weak. Pokemon that are really strong. I'm pretty sure Jinx is like a PU Pokemon or something. But I have a feeling that he's going to go for his, um, his Mr. Spider first. Because, you know... Mr. Spider is kind of uh, annoying like that. So we're going to go into Agron. Mm, everyone goes for Superior. Like, everyone. They always go for Superior. I don't know why I don't expect it. Okay, so... Yeah, we, again, don't really have anything we can do to this Superior. So I'm just going to Head Smash it. It's going to Substitute, and we're going to Head Smash it. And it heals itself as it leftovers. We get Leaf Stormed brutally. 
and we hit smash and actually kill it. So, Hallelujah, Superior is a dangerous Pokemon, and it scares me to death. Yeah, we are definitely not going to be able to do much to this Charizard, so I'm just going to go for a Stealth Rock and hopefully get something. No, he's just going to beat me up. Maybe he wanted to go for something else, but I don't know. Um, we don't really have anything to hit this Charizard with, but we do have Gastrodon, which can do some things. So we're going to go for Scald, and he has, of course, oh, I, I forgot. It's the Charizard X, no, the Charizard Y. It's the classic. Oh, they always go for that. Man, I'm an idiot. Why? How did I not? Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're inside of a bad situation. So we're going to forfeit this one and um, try another one where we don't make bad plays. So this is pretty much an OU team besides the Delphox, which I am very confused about. But I have a feeling that he's going to start off with one of his dragons probably garchomp maybe i don't know so i'm gonna go into rotom and hope that he puts out a dragon he put out a dragon but we probably still are gonna die but it's fine so we're just gonna go for um he might switch into delphox and if he does that's going to eat our sub-zero slammer but we're just gonna Okay, so he went for Delphox, but we're just going to go for the Sub-Zero Slammer regardless. Okay. And are we faster? We are most certainly not. So I say we go into Gastrodon, and hopefully he doesn't expect that. He did not expect that. Alright, so I don't know why he went for Fire Blast, because Fire Blast has a very low accuracy. But we're going to... Scald. Future Sight. Future Sight. If you guys didn't know, Future Sight's a move that, like, takes, like, four turns or something, and then it unleashes, like, a 120 power psychic move. I have, like, never seen someone use Future Sight. Alright. I don't really understand this dude's team. Like, it's, it's all OU Pokemon, but it's, um just threw a Delphox in there for some reason. Okay, so now we have Gyarados, which most likely is... Be <sighs> <sighs> now, if you guys play this game, please promise me that you only will forfeit when you know that you have, like, no chance of winning. Like, if your team is going to get absolutely sweeped, you can forfeit, but... Don't forfeit when just one Pokemon goes down inside of some stupid way. But I guess we had a pretty high win rate inside of this video. I'm glad I made this because this team was fun to make. It sucks. So not going to be good plays. It's not going to be a very destruction-like video. But at least we got some wins with this horrible team with horrible Pokemon. But it was fun to do. And with that being said... Thank you guys for watching. If you like my content, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, pushing the bell, disliking. I don't know. But thank you for watching and keep on looking out for my videos.